are now going with uh, Senator Tina Smith. She joins us on the phone, and uh, we're so happy that you made some time for us this morning. We know it is a busy morning. Um, we know that you've already put something out on X. If we, uh, your response, Okay, uh, you said the energy is palpable and you're gonna fight like hell to get this ticket across the finish line. So we kind of understand that your excitement, uh, of your excitement. <laughs> It is. I think it's very exciting for Minnesota, and uh, this is such a strong ticket. I loved hearing Jeff Hayden uh, talk about uh, what Governor Walls brings to the ticket in terms of who he is and um, what his life has been like, what his experience has been like. And I think that that is going to be um, – he, I think also he's going to be such a strong governing partner with Vice President Harris. Here is a leader uh, in Governor Walls who's worked in the legislative branch and in the executive branch. He has strong small-town roots, and um, he's also shown how to get – things done in a, a you know, very closely divided and challenging legislative environment. And I know that that's what Vice President Harris is interested in, too, is making progress for people. Senator Smith, um, just kind of give us an overview. Obviously, you have known the governor for a very long time. You guys are very close, have worked on a number of issues. Um, we know him to an extent, you know, as much as you do. Most, I would say, a lot of other people in the country, maybe this is the first time they're, they've been hearing him over the last couple of days this week. What do you think people should know about him? What do you think they will learn about him? Maybe even Minnesotans. What do you think we will learn about him in the next few weeks to come? I think people will learn, you know, one, what a big heart he has, um, also just what an effective leader he is. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, people want to look at their leaders and say, like, who is this guy? How, you know, can I trust him? Can I trust him to make good decisions? And what the people will see about Governor Walls and that I've seen since I've known him for, gosh, probably nearly 20 years, is that he's just the real deal. The person that you see in front of the camera is exactly the same guy that you see when you're, you know, sitting around a picnic table and just talking. He doesn't put on airs. He's um, not, uh, you know, doesn't try to pretend that he's something that he isn't. And I think because of that, he's able to just talk to so many different kinds of people about what's going on in their lives. The other thing I really have always admired about Tim is while he's very strong and he's not afraid to fight for what he believes in, he doesn't have a huge ego. You know, he's not um, not always looking to be at the front of the parade. He is looking to be part of a, you know, part of the work to make progress for people. And I think that that's so important. You know, at the end of the day, the reason that we do politics is because we want to accomplish things for people. We want to make help make life better for people. And I know that that's what motivates him. And the other thing I'll say, just because I, I really love the guy so much, is you'll see what a strong family person he is. He loves his family. He loves his kids and his wife and his pets. And uh, I think in that sense, a lot of folks can really relate to him. I love these videos he's um, he has done over the years with um, with his um, kids. I think they kind of give you a window into who he is. Uh, Senator Smith, we know, um, and it, we're already seeing this, of course, uh, on social media, that he will also be facing uh, a fair amount of criticism from the GOP, from the Trump campaign, uh, specifically about the unrest following uh, the murder of George Floyd. How do you expect that he is going to face that criticism, especially when you're talking about the rest of the country? Well, I think that it's totally predictable. I think that the um, uh, you know the former president and his running mate are sort of scrambling. They can see the energy and the enthusiasm that has been building around Vice President Harris and now Governor Walls, and they're just kind of you know throwing every noodle that they can think of at the wall to see if something will stick. Um, and and I, I I don't think that that is going to work. I think that people are interested in looking forward and not backward, and they want to know what is. What, what their candidates are going to do for them and, and not just listen to the attacks. I know from having worked in the city of Minneapolis, I live in the city of Ma in Minneapolis, we all know what a terrible time it, it was in the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd. And what I saw in Governor Wall's leadership was um, a deep understanding of the pain that so many people in the community were experiencing. Um, after the horrible uh, killing of George Floyd, and also a determination to bring order 
and uh, and and restore peace in uh, the streets of Minneapolis. And you know, understand that the uprisings that happened in Minneapolis were uh, played out in communities around the country. It was one of the most um, uh, you know, consequential things that have happened, I think, in our country since the 1960s. And what he showed, I thought, was very strong leadership. Senator Smith, as you're speaking right now, um, we're taking live looks right now. This is over the governor's residence in St. Paul. You see a lot of black SUVs. I believe, I believe <laughs> we just saw his wife and daughter get into one of those black SUVs. It looks like maybe they're heading out. Um, we know, obviously, he is expected to meet Kamala Harris in Philadelphia later today for a campaign rally. They're first together as pair later tonight. So maybe that's, uh, maybe they're on the move. They've got to get from St. Paul to Philadelphia at some point. But we're watching this kind of unfold real time as the, the vehicles look to be mm -hmm. leaving. Obviously, there are, I don't know, at least about a dozen yes. black SUVs right there and a lot of people, a lot of commotion oh, yeah. there at the new residence, the temporary residence of the governor at this point. Um, walk us through what this means for Minnesota going forward. Obviously, we are going to be thrown into the spotlight. We are right now. We have been in maybe the last couple of days as his name was being floated around. We see him leaving right now. More people going to the streets, presumably supporters, a lot of media that is a, a neighborhood. So a lot of people just walking outside saying hello. Uh, walk us through what this yeah. kind of looks like for us now um, going forward and, and, and what you expect to, to be the case for Minnesota and maybe, you know, not even just Minnesota, but Wisconsin now in, in very much in, yeah. at play. Well, I think that the, um, the excitement, I was at an event with Governor Walls and, uh, and uh, uh, Gwen Walls last night, and the excitement that people feel for him uh, running for vice president is just, and people are just thrilled, I think. Uh, and so that's going to be playing out, and I don't think it's going to dissipate. I don't think it's going to go away. Tonight we're going to have an opportunity to see this rally uh, that will be happening in Philadelphia. I understand that they had to uh, basically – uh, the rally sold out with like 30,000 people planning on being there. So the governor and first lady are going to be really, um, you know, thrown into this um, uh, incredibly exciting time. And I, of course, think about their own lives and how their lives are being upended, um, knowing them as my friends. For Minnesota, I think it's going to be exciting to have so much attention paid to um, what we've been doing here, what we've been working on, the record of the governor and the state legislature. Of course, we're really blessed in Minnesota with a very strong lieutenant governor. Governor Walls will continue to be the governor until um, election, in, until he's sworn in as, as vice president. But in the meantime, I think it's really reassuring that our lieutenant governor, Peggy Flanagan, is so capable and has such deep experience um, having been Governor Walls' governing partner these last eight years. And so that'll be, I think, exciting for people to uh, get to know Lieutenant Governor Flanagan um, in better as well as the, as the weeks unfold. Uh, wondering if you would, Senator Smith, uh, weigh in or at least uh, your thoughts on uh, Barack Obama for, uh, weighed in. He said, like Vice President Harris, Governor Tim Walz believes the government works to serve us, not just some of us, but all of us. That's what makes him an outstanding governor, and that's what will make him an even better vice president. Michelle and I couldn't be happier for Tim Walz. That coming in from Barack Obama, former president. That's fantastic. That makes me so happy, and I would expect what I would expect and hope for. And, you know, it reminds me that when Governor Walls uh, first ran, you know, here he was a member of Congress representing a, he first ran for governor, a member of Congress representing a district in southern Minnesota that had been represented by Republicans for like a hundred years. And he was the first Democrat to win in that district. And, uh, and he ran on the idea of one Minnesota, that we're all in this together, that we take care of our friends and neighbors, that that's what we should be thinking about as we, um, as we govern ourselves. And I know that that, that just jibes with what I hear uh, President Obama talking about and, and the opportunities for us to be unified in this moment with this great ticket.
Uh, let's talk about that one Minnesota campaign and kind of maybe one uh, one America, if you will, if you want to broaden it out. Um, obviously, we know so much is on the line this election. We know so much um, has been talked about the independence and the undecided. Um, looking at this ticket, the the Walls Harris ticket and the 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 Vance Trump ticket, the Trump Vance ticket. Um, there's been so much talk about you know going to the base, and a lot of people are saying Walls's pick is definitely leaning in towards the base, not so much maybe that independent uh, kind of the undecided what's your, what's your take on that do you think walls can reach out to those people who have not decided who they're gonna who they're gonna vote for come November I absolutely do I think that both uh, Governor Walls and Vice President Harris um, are already doing that certainly when as Tim has run and won in Minnesota it's because he was not only able to get people in base Democratic voters excited about what could be accomplished but also bringing along independents and even you know more moderate Republicans who wanted a government that was actually working and functioning to deliver results for people and so in that sense he brings a very common sense kind of down-to-earth approach I can easily uh, picture him campaigning uh, in you know in uh, Wisconsin where there are many many independent voters and moderate Republican voters in western Pennsylvania and even in the congressional district in Nebraska that is um, that would be a part of a, a half to 270 electoral college votes. I think that he just has the capacity to connect with people who don't think about politics first every morning when they work up. That's what most people are like. You know, they don't wake up in the morning and say, I'm a Democrat or I'm a Republican. They're thinking about like what they have to do that day and how to get through their lives and how to take care of their families. And Tim has a, a way of connecting with those people that is Beyond politics, it's really about what your hopes are for the future, and um, that, I think, makes him a, a, a really strong campaigner, um, even in red parts of our country. Well, Senator Tina Smith, I'm sure your phone is blowing up <laughs> this morning. <laughs> You're getting a lot of phone calls, uh, and people want to pick your mind just as you let us this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for taking the time mm -hmm. to speak with us about this big announcement here. Senator Tina Smith on the phone with us this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.